Please welcome to the stage Hannah McClellan, Carlos Cato, Alejandra Velasquez, and Roman Pacheco. Yes, we don't know what, right? Hi, good morning, and welcome to uh, the spotlight on bicultural and bilingual workers. Um, our group would love for our spotlight to be as conversational as possible, uh, meaning that if we have time for questions from the audience at the end, we'd love to hear those from you. Um, also, feel free, if we don't have that time, to, to come and talk to us after, get our email. Um, but in the spirit of having a conversational um, panel about this issue, I thought we could start with a brief introduction of each of us here on the stage. So my name is Hannah McClellan. I'm a reporter with Education NC. I cover community colleges for Education NC, which is where um, I visited Lenore Community College and um, met with uh, Carlos Cotto here to my right um, and learned about um, Centro Educativo Latino. So we'll start this way and then work our way down the stage with some introductions. Well, good morning. My name is Carlos Cotto. I'm an associate dean at Lenore Community College. Um, I've been with the Continuing Education Division for about, uh, let's say, 25 years. And Con Ed has always been my forte. And I believe that uh, after a while trying to see how to make things work, uh, I think we finally cracked the code and uh, how to get the, the students into the classroom. Uh, I want to thank uh, Tom White, Sarah, and John Parker uh, to having me here. It was through their invite that uh, I'm part of this cohort. And uh, going back into what Laura Dawson said about employment in North Carolina, people that are not going to work are going to eventually uh, find it later on kind of hard to find work because they're going to be replaced. And with that, I have an example of two of my students that uh, have been with us from the very beginning, and uh, it would be Alejandra and Roman. Alejandra. Hey, good morning. Uh, my name is Alejandra Velasquez. I, I was born in Mexico, and um, right now I live in Albertson, North Carolina. Uh, to me, um, being at Lenore Community College has been a blessing. Um, I have been able to get experience and knowledge in, uh, in a field that I did not know nothing about. Um, I am in the, the electrical field, and I am, I am pushing myself to do something that I didn't think I was able to do. Um, I, am, I am thankful to Lenore Community College because they gave me the opportunity to one of these um, to take advantage of one of their courses. I hope I can get more experience and continue my career so that I can eventually um, obtain an electrical license and um, have a better future for me and my family. Come on. Good morning. I'm a little nervous. Um, you know, I'm from Mexico. Um, I had to learn English because it's my second language, and I uh, try to do my best. Uh, hopefully, you understand me. I came to America 29 years ago. We're from Arizona, the first uh, state we stay, and we came to North Carolina 20 year, 24 years ago uh, with nothing, and uh, we only came for one year and we stayed 24 years. I <laughs> uh, had three kids. My older, she's from Arizona. She's on the Navy station, a medical field. Um, I feel like her, um, promoted to her to be a better. I got another son, he's a student, still in college, and I got a little one, he's nine years old. So, I started late. <laughs> <laughs> but my wife, she's with me. And uh, thank you to uh, Lenar Community College for inviting me today to speak about my experience. And uh, I'd be glad, you know, Carlos Cotto and uh, Henry Perez to be my teacher. And uh, I come to this because they um, 
status quo, I think the second generation, 2016. And I got my EPA certification for a refrigerator. I do uh, small appliances. And uh, when I finish that, it takes me three years. So that's a long time. I spend a lot of my time with my family, go to school on the weekends. So there's a lot of work and a lot of time with our other family. So it worked for me because it takes me long, but I'm, I'm feel better now. Take a lot of opportunities to better work, better money. And uh, this program, they help a lot of Hispanic community. So when I get that one, I don't remember what I give back to the electricity. It's a um, uh, EPA certification for training electricity. I tell my wife, there's going to be another time to be out of use. So they say, okay, you got to go. You can take it. So I spend more time go back to school for electricity. So when I get that one, I know we got a better education, better job, better money. So I take, I take that. So when I look, I say, well, I need to get another job because this one, what I do, this is going to open more doors. So... I work for a um, and &E factory service is part Sears. They hired me. They say, I need you come work for us. So you got this license, you got this. Say, yes, I got. I said, okay, we need you. You need to come here. So I started work for that company, and I get a better pay and better opportunity, better jobs. So I want to give you thanks to all of you, you know, try, try to speak how you, you know, my English, I don't know that's the best. But I'm going to try to express what I, how I feel to be part of Linnard Community College. And uh, they give me a lot of chance and give me more doors open to do what I do today. And thank you. Thank you to all. Thank you, each of you, for being here. Um, in just a moment, I'm going to turn it over to Carlos, who's going to introduce um, a video showcasing one of the many um, innovative programs that Centro Educativo Latino um, is offering to provide for both students and the community and workforce in Lenore County. Um, but first, I just wanted to offer a little bit of context about um, the center and the programs they offer. So um, it's the center is a training hub that offers around 70 um, workforce training programs and those uh, programs are offered completely in Spanish. And so um, that's just an, an incredible resource um, for the 14% of Lenore Community College's students who are Hispanic, um, as well as, I think Carlos will talk to this later, some other um, students who come in actually from other uh, surrounding counties to access those resources. Um, and nearly 11% of North Carolina um, is also Hispanic based on 2020 census data. Um, and I think um, if you have heard from Latinx Ed before, um, they're an incredible education um, nonprofit working to connect um, education resources to the Hispanic community. Um, they've talked repeatedly about how the attainment goal that we're talking a lot about today, two million students being certified or having certifications by 2030, um, we can't meet that goal without meaningfully engaging um, Hispanic and Latino students. Um, finally, um, something Carlos stressed a lot um, in our first conversation when we, meet, when we met was that this program doesn't just um, expand access to Hispanic students, um, it's also actually helping meet the need of Spanish-speaking residents um, in, the, in Lenore and also in surrounding regions who otherwise uh, may feel less comfortable accessing some of these really critical um, services and trades. Like has been mentioned, uh, each county has a community college. For example, Wake Tech has uh, Wake Community College. Uh, you have uh, Durham Tech. You have uh, Fayetteville Tech. Each county basically serves as a community college that serves that county. Our Tri-County uh, is Lenore. You got two smaller counties, Green and Jones, so we have a Tri-County. Uh, that we serve, but in actuality, we serve 29 counties from the state of North Carolina. We got students that come from uh, Myrtle Beach, Merrill Inlet, uh, Collinsville, Virginia. We have six students that travel on Fridays from Atlanta, Georgia, take class on Saturday, go back on Sunday. For the simple reason is that the class is taught in Spanish and for the cost. Um, 
the time for taking the class could be, it's one day a week. Uh, it could be about five months, six months. And uh, by the time you finish, the student walks up with five certifications. And the cost of the class is only $180. But you go someplace else, an, a, an, an associate's degree in HVAC will cost between five and $8,000. And it's two years. So the cost and the time of being certified uh, allows the student to be more successful into the community, going back and having a better socioeconomics and be a part of that cycle and maintain the circle of uni the family unity. Um, everything I offer in English, of course, I offer in Spanish. And uh, it just happens that the Latino community has had an opportunity to accept Lenore Community College as a place of training that uh, has opened the doors to where they are. They actually changed the face of LCC. Uh, we do have, uh, in two years, we served 1,918 students and that's in two years, and that's not duplicated. Those are students coming to the class from 29 different counties in North Carolina. Um, with that, uh, we have the largest cosmetology program in the state, HVAC, welding, automotive. And uh, the classes that we offer are the ones that are employable. For example, commercial refrigeration. Today, I just checked the numbers, there's 774 jobs open. At HVAC, there's 1,427 jobs open. As an electrician, there's 883 jobs open. And in welding, there's 1,349. Auto mechanics technicians, we have 2,940 jobs. Ad additional to that, we offer CDL driving, uh, A and B. In CDL A, you have 4,600 jobs open. CDL B, 1,700 jobs open. And their earning is between $1,200 up to uh, a week. That's about $56,000 a year, and that can be achieved in eight weeks. Um, to the CDL, you can add a, an endorsement of HAZMAT. Automatically, you go from $60,000 to $110,000 to $120,000 a year. And those jobs are opened, and they're available, and there's a big need. And uh, I think we have a pretty good education program at LCC, not just for the English speaking, but also for the Spanish speaking. And my students are gonna be with us two years and adults traveling uh, pretty far. For example, we got one student travels every Friday from Hickory for four hours to take a class. On Saturdays, go back on Sundays. Um, the need is there. And the cost, $180, makes it affordable to everybody through continuing education. So, um, I don't know what else. Uh, we, we do have a good group, and uh, it's a big family. Uh, and I'm proud of something we achieved at LCC. Carlos, I know when we uh, talked a few months ago, one of the things that um, I was really impressed by that you all had done to uh, further mitigate barriers for students was even working with um, local businesses and hotels to try and cut back on costs. Could you talk about that and sort of how you've approached um, trying to have a wide breadth of resources for students? Yes, yeah, so at the beginning for the class, I put the program together. I had to get all the logistics in line. So basically, I kind of thought if they were to come from far away, they had to spend a night. So a local hotel across the street, uh, uh, I went on a Friday and asked him, what is your load on, on the weekends? He says, you're looking at four cars. If I, say, if I can guarantee you 20 cars on Thursdays and Fridays and every Sunday, what is it for the students? And he goes, if you can make that happen, we'll give you the room for $45 a night, breakfast included. So you're looking at cosmetology, you're going to be there for two years. So uh, the, the girls are become sisters, and they get four to a room. That's only $11 a night plus breakfast, and it's just across the street from the college. Partnerships with the local companies. If you take a class with us that are with one of our partners, for example, Crown Industries, if you take a class and you get an 85% or higher in the exit evaluation, the evaluator being the company's technician, the company guarantees that student an interview. If you're hired, six months after you're hired, the company reimburses the student the cost of the class. So therefore, the company is not hiring the blind because they're teaching their methodology. The student applies themselves, gets a job, and we have the program, so it's a perfect trifecta. 
And the Smith's going to be in, uh, an associate's for two years and go for a graduation process. Uh, my students are basically with us a year and a half to two years. So we are, uh, we have a graduation for our students at the two-year mark when they get all their certificates. And uh, last year, in June 2022, we graduated 288 students with licensing and certifications.